Hello all you mayhem makers, I'm Mindy with Quilting Mayhem and welcome to the Kona Block of the Month. So unfortunately I've been a little under the weather to record uh, the actual videos but I thought I'd at least start with uh, some tips and tricks for doing some of these blocks just to start out the gate. So a lot of times when I do sew alongs and I take patterns and I look at them I try to make sure that they get broken down into easy segments. Um, sometimes I may do what I call rewrite the pattern um, just because I don't necessarily always agree with how somebody says how to construct something. Uh, I've been quilting for 30 years so I've done a lot of projects and I want to make sure everybody is successful in making their their blocks so uh, a lot of times I will change things up just to either make it easier uh, make it so you work with less bias, um, some of those kinds of things. So that's kind of what I'm doing with the Kona blocks is there is a lot of bias and not necessarily giving you room for error. Um, so which causes people to struggle because then your blocks aren't the right size, so on and so forth, and you just get frustrated and you give up. And we don't want that. <clears throat> we want successful blocks, right? So keep in mind as we go, I may change the cutting instructions. So I'll try to give you um, those notes as we go along so that if you want to do it my method versus how the pattern is written, you can do that. So for any time that there's half square triangles, understand I am rounding up those cutting measurements so that you can trim them back down. I am not taking squares, cutting them in half, sewing them back together. I, ugh, no, that just that seems ridiculous to me when I can take two squares, put them together, sew them, cut them in half, and trim them down, and you're great, and you have two at a time. So, and I will be demonstrating that method, and if you've done any of my sew-alongs, you've seen that method over and over and over and over again. So, I apologize if, if you've watched any of them. It will seem repetitive, um, but for those of you that are new, hopefully you appreciate it, and it helps you as you go along. All right, so block one... Um, anytime, anytime, it uses essentially seven eighths. So there's some that are four and seven eighths. There are some that are two and seven eighths. I, I round up. <clears throat> Plain and simple. I round up four and seven eighths to five. I round up two and seven eighths to three. That just gives you wiggle room. Yes, you're going to have to trim, but guess what? Trimming is better than your block in the end being too short, too far off, too wonky. This gives you room to clean up all those edges and have the block size that you need to fit all your pieces together, all right? So that's my first key thing um, before you start cutting, uh, is just keep in mind, I always round up to then move back down. So uh, that is one of the big changes that's gonna go along. There will be a couple times in this pattern that I don't. And that's only when we purely are kind of having to work with triangles. So, um, and I'll talk about that later on as we get to those parts in the blocks. So there are some few exceptions, but most of the time, especially if it says you're gonna turn this into a half square triangle, I'm rounding up, making squares, putting them together, drawing my diagonal line, sewing on either side, trimming the whole nine. Okay, so uh, I think that's really the biggest part that has to do with this block of the month. The blocks really, aren't super complicated. There are a few that are a little tricky and even block number one kind of right out the gate. They're giving you a challenge. I swear this is a test that if you can make this block, you can make any of the blocks, all right? So we're gonna get you through this block and then um, things are gonna be amazing from then on because <laughs> it's just gonna seem uh, a lot of the same steps, a lot of the same uh, components of the blocks, a lot of half square triangles, blind geese, so on and so forth, all right? so. Uh, that's really all I have for the beginning. I'm going to get you my notations as to the cutting that I actually did for this block and then I will get to the point of creating a video. So I have everything cut and ready. I'm getting there. Uh, my voice thankfully is coming back. So I'm hoping to be able to do this video real soon and get you um, all the steps on how I got this block together. All right guys, so hope you have a lovely day and keep on stitching. <laughs> 